Welcome to the 1988 SeaWorld Holiday Bowl at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego. The Cowboys are the story tonight. Oklahoma State against Wyoming. And Oklahoma State will kick the football off. Wyoming won the toss and will receive and carry Blanchard a sophomore. An honorable mention All-American as a punter as well to kick it to either Peter Gunn on your left or Dabby Dawson, the boyhood friend of Barry Sanders on the right. And here we go with the Cowboys of Oklahoma State kicking it away. And right through the end zone, a bit of communication problem there, but it's WAC Offensive Player of the Year, Randy Welniak. Junior Dwayne Jones, the fullback, WAC Newcomer of the Year, Dabby Dawson, the tailback. The wide receiver, senior Freddie Doucette, back from a knee injury, junior Ted Gilmore. Senior Tom Kilpatrick is the tight end. The center is senior Grant Salisbury. The guards, senior Sean Weir and sophomore Tyrone Fidji. Two-time All-Wax senior Tony Kapushin and huge junior Steve Slay at the tackles. Defensively, the Cowboys, sophomore Ruben Oliver starts at note guard for OSU. The tackle, sophomore Brandon Coburn and freshman Stacy Satterwhite. Senior David Bailey, sophomore Devin Jones the ends. Juniors at linebacker, Torrance Cummings and Sim Drain the third. Senior Melvin Gillum and freshman Mike Clark at the corners with juniors Lamar Griggs and Rod Smith the safeties. Scott Gibson in motion to the outside and well act to throw that way. Down on the 28th. He'll throw on third and short. Under pressure, well act is sacked behind the line. The nose guard, Ruben Oliver. Tom Kilpatrick will kick it away, a low snap. And Sanders at the 41. On the short kick, the Cowboys of Wyoming had pretty good coverage. Mike Gundy, now the number three throwing quarterback in Big 8 history. Fullback Garrett Limbrick, a senior, a fine job of blocking for Heisman winner Barry Sanders. All-American Hartley Dykes, the Big 8's best ever at wide receiver, along with junior Jared Green. The tight end is junior Vance Weiss. The center, senior John Bovere. All-American Chris Stanley and Jason Kidder, the guards. Mike Wolf and Byron Woodard are the tackles. Good field position for Oklahoma State. Barry Sanders hit initially behind the line by Mike Scheinbeck, 55. Pat Raybould and Craig Schlichting the tackles up front. Sophomores Mitch Donahue and senior David Dean the ends. They're all whack up front. Sophomore Steve Addison starts at middle linebacker. Senior Mike Scheinbeck, sophomore Willie Wright, the all whack. Linebackers Eric Coleman and Steve McMillan, seniors at the corners. The safeties are Rich Miller and junior Daryl Harris. <laughs> Sanders weaving his way to midfield. Gundy rolling on third and five, and he's got Hartley Dykes inside the 40-yard line. Dykes with a couple of big eight records now to his credit. He's an All-American. First man through, fullback Garrett Limbrick. Little flare left side and hit hard. Jared Green, Oklahoma State, outstanding on third down this year. Perfect on 67 attempts, a big eight record, rifles it through, and less than five minutes in, Oklahoma State has the first score of the game. With Oklahoma State leading Wyoming 7 to nothing, we rejoin the game late in the first quarter. Wyoming has possession after an Oklahoma State turnover, and the Cowboys of Wyoming are looking at third down and 18 from just inside the Oklahoma State 40-yard line. Third down and 18 for Wyoming. 
inside for Scott Gibson. Inside the 20. And if his forward progress is marked there, he'll have the first down. Peter Gunn, number 24, inside the 20. Inside the 15, down to the 10, and inside the 5 goes Randy Wallian. It's the quarterback, and he's in for the score. Beautiful bootleg fake by Wellniak, who has now a chance to get the game back even. An extra point this year. That makes 58 in a row. So with 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play, Wyoming ties it up at seven. 304-pound right tackle Byron Woodard head for the locker room after Gundy called timeout. Gundy will run it to midfield. He's got the first down, takes a bunch of hits with a rather risky move on middle linebacker Steve Addison. Right side, Barry Sanders. Inside the 25. Add all that yardage together. Oklahoma State pounding it down near the 15-yard line. Under two minutes remaining in the first half. Gundy inside the five, and what a catch by Hartley Dyke. First and goal for the Cowboys of OSU. Harry Sanders for the touchdown. CAA record 67 in a row during the season. No problem on two here tonight. It's 14-7 Oklahoma State. Well, what makes a back 5'8", 197 pounds so tough and a guy who can win the Heisman Trophy? In the first half, with Oklahoma State leading Wyoming 14-7, the Cowboys of Oklahoma State increased their lead to 10 with a 32-yard Kerry Blanchard field goal. So with Oklahoma State now leading Wyoming 17-7, we rejoin the game at the start of the second half. Now the lights are back on after the big fireworks display here at Jack Murphy Stadium, and we're set for the second half of play as Sean Fleming kicks it, and it's inside the 10 where Barry Sanders bats it down. And a kickoff return that never really materializes. 33 yards in the first half is that's just a tremendous job by State. Gundy with a pitch to Sanders, and he's pumped outside. Because they did it in two plays. With a Sanders run and a Dykes catch. Here's Barry Sanders dancing his way over the 30. Gang tackling. He's got 18 carries, 79 yards in this game. And if these guys go to sleep, Wyoming is going to be trouble. Sanders again. And as he got over the 40-yard line, he was pushed back. They're dangerous on second and short, these Cowboys of Oklahoma State. And Gundy showed some experience right there. To Sanders on third and two. That's a first down. Oklahoma State that quickly down to the 25 of Wyoming. Here's the fullback Garrett Limbrick. And he's down near another first down. The fullback again, Limbrick, has the first down inside the 15. Let's see how well the Cowboys keep doing on first down. That's a touchdown! Brent Parker. a freshman in the secondary, Steve Mann, that they got by for the score. As 
usual, Kerry Blanchard flawless on the point after. So three minutes and seven seconds into the second half, Oklahoma State moves the ball a long way and caps it off with Mike Gundy to Brent Parker for a touchdown. It's 24-7. Bob Carpenter, Jack Murphy Stadium, San Diego. Oklahoma State with a 17-point lead as it's down to the 10-yard line and Steve McMillan. Some good sticking there by Oklahoma State. This is their first possession in the second half. For those of you who don't know, I'm referring to Air Force. Five scores in the last quarter while the had had against Air Force. To win that game, 48 to 45. Play action to the fullback. No way to throw. And defending there on Freddie Doucette, Melvin Gillum. Incomplete. Well, they'll move it back five yards, and Wyoming will have first and 15. Scott Gibson motioning near his side. Well, they have to pretty do set. Here come the Cowboys, and a quick opener to Peter Gunn. Over the 30, hit hard, and down at the 32. Set. We're still in the first five minutes of the third quarter. A little flip. And it is to Tom Kilpatrick, the tight end. His first reception of the night. And the ball batted down by David Bailey. Well, the act 7 of 11 for 68 yards. to the left, and Scott Gibson goes. Into the pocket, straight ahead, Brandon Mack inside the 20, still running down to the 14. Play action to both backs, into the end zone, and Melvin Gillum knocks it down. It'll be an incomplete pass. The arm was definitely moving forward. on the scoreboard. Extra point, no problem for Sean Fleming. And it's in the 10-point game again. It was 17-7 at the half. It's now 24-14. Rules are unfair. He said, no, we broke them. They're not unfair, and we should pay. Upman gets it for Oklahoma State. Mike Clark, a defensive back as Wyoming squibbed the kick. At halftime, I'm sure they made those adjustments. Oklahoma State has had two quick scoring drives lately. Let's see how they answer. How about Barry Sanders? To midfield, he might go! about Barry Sanders. He was having a rough time. Sanders gets it back on one play. And with 8-13 remaining in the third quarter, Oklahoma State leads it 31-14. to One at Barry Sanders were Iowa State and Tulsa. Not exactly nationally recruited was the Heisman winner. Here's Peter Gunn on the return. And had he not run into some of his own players, we were all friends anyway. Right. And we thought that, you know, it would make a better trip all together. Okay, thank you. Love it. 
Second and six at the 30. Randy Wilniak up the middle and the orange jerseys and pants. Freddie Doucette. Offense decline. It was shared by eight players. It's now shared by one. On third and seven, it may have been tipped. High spiral hangs up for a while. Fair catch at the 32. Play action to Sanders. Gundy with time to Barry Sanders. He broke one tackle, almost broke another one. yard line the man is a number one pick tremendous athlete he's caught seven for 110 yards the other half of that offensive end with Barry Sanders second and six Mike Gundy ducks down for a first down inside the 35 Sanders on the deal. Look at the total yards. Almost a 300 yard advantage. Gundy over the top for Dykes. They're not only not tall enough, but not quick enough. It's eight catches for 125 yards for Hartley Dykes. Harry Sanders. Nothing inside, nothing outside. running and pumping into the end zone and a little bit too far for Brent Parker. We'll find out a year from now. Sanders wants to throw back to Gundy. He's got it inside the five. Look how efficient they've been. Sanders easily for the score. And that's number four for Mr. Sanders kid from Wichita. One, now 52, as Kerry Blanchard knocks it through. It was a 10-point game. Then Sanders tore it apart. This will be Peter Gunn inside the five at the three. Straight ahead running. We're still in the third quarter. Oklahoma State blitzing and Welniak is dead. Courtesy of number 48 of the Cowboys. That's Jay Fleischman. Nobody open downfield. Sim Drain. Reuben Oliver and others, third and 13. Well, Niak rifles it up and a nice grab by Ted Gilmore. The way she's got the hat. First and 10. Well, Niak long down the middle. Prandell Matt intercepted by Sanders. Rich Miller from Strong Safety. Now Barry Sanders has 25 runs for 191 yards. Gundy will step up to the line of scrimmage and throw it down the field to the fullback, Garrett Limbrick. Gundy was very close with 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Sanders looking to throw again. He does. It'll be short. He was looking for Jared Green. A bit of dejection on the faces of the Wyoming Cowboys. Gundy fakes one way and goes right. And then it goes to Vance Price. Right That's another first down. Only one incompletion since then. And having a big night like the other two are Dykes and Sanders. Here's Barry. Inside the 25. And bumped out of bounds at the 17 yard line. Ball play. He should have been set for a loss, 
and turns it into a gain of about six or seven yards. Same thing he did the year before against Tulsa. Second and three, first down, touchdown! And that's number five. Oklahoma State leads it 45 to 14. With six seconds remaining in the third quarter, the Holiday Bowl records are falling one by one. It will be there with special expertise. Down inside the five-yard line to Steve McMillan on the kickoff. And he has stood straight up on the Cowboys special teams. 15 minutes to go at the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. It is all Sanders and Oklahoma State. Even the Wyoming mascot a little withdrawn at the moment. I used to clean it. That was my job. Fourth quarter underway. This one should be picked off by somebody. And it is Marcus Jones of Oklahoma State rumbling and rambling to the 25-yard line. Welniak on the tackle after the interception. Oklahoma State gets a turnover. They've done it many times this year. Gundy on first down. Two Unbelievable reaching catch. Seven catches on double coverage tonight for Harvey Dyke. And that is Gerald Hudson carrying the ball. The two ran for more than anybody else. There he goes again. Down to the three-yard line. On third and goal, Gundy still has it. Coleman chasing. Gundy into the end zone. Too short. Three superstars. Some pretty good numbers there. A 19-yarder for Gary Blanchard, who puts it through. And with two minutes and two seconds elapsed in the fourth quarter, Oklahoma State leads it 48-14 at the Holiday Bowl. Five left in the football game. Wyoming on fourth and 16, trailing 48-14. Set unable to hold on inside the 10 yard line. There were a couple of my friends I'd like to say hello to that I played with. I will. Second down and six for Oklahoma State with Mike Gundy still out the controls. Swinging it for Gerald Hudson. He's got a first down down the far sideline. And finally brought down by Steve Mann. First and 10 at the 25. Dykes can also drag people with him into the end zone. Dykes was a good Oklahoma State now with 38 second half points. With 6.58 remaining, it's 55 to 14. All right, here's Gundy. Here's all that mobility. He's going to get loose just about at the first down or the uh, the over the yard line marker there. And he hits. Now watch Dykes, how strong he is. Look at McMillan. Undressing him, he can't get him down. It's all the guys from Oklahoma, 55-14 in the fourth quarter. Short kick that is high to McMillan at the 14. And up to the 33-yard line. Randy Welniak still at it for Wyoming, looking outside. from behind and sack time it's OSU's Rod Gaines many of the sights Joe Patrick will kick it for Wyoming not a good bounce for the Cowboys in white 
530 remaining down to the sidelines. Chris Smith now, number 13, is the Oklahoma State quarterback. And he gives it to sophomore fullback Cecil Wilson. More than 510. Yeah. Five minutes remaining. This time it's number 24 for OSU. That is Vernon Brown. On first down, Cecil Wilson, the ball carrier. Closer last year. Second and nine. Play action. And Smith throws it down the field. And it's caught there. On first down at the 32. Again, it's Vernon Brown. 332 remaining. Holding offense. First and 20. On first and 20. It's ahead to Scott Chaplin, a junior tight end. And smooth sailing back up the coast to Carson. 2.48 remaining. <laughs> Vernon Brown on the carry. Together consecutive years. Amazing. On third and three, Smith looking for a man to receive the pass. It's a first down. Touchdown as Vernon Brown grabbed a desperation shovel. First and goal at the nine with a minute 58 remaining. And running hard as Brown all the time near the five yard line. At this point. Chris Smith for the touchdown. And the sophomore quarterback is into the end zone. Now the point total is way over 70 with a minute 13 remaining right now it's 61 to 14 Oklahoma State game tonight the point after from Kerry Blanchard up and through with a minute 13 remaining Oklahoma State leads by 48 short kickoff Wyoming gets it out to the 38 maybe the 39 they were awfully good to us and our thanks to our producer throughout the season Freddie Gadelli Mark Payton directing tonight we missed him but Jan Chapman from the San Diego Chargers helping us out with spotting tonight out over the 40 yard line incomplete Oklahoma State now as of that last drive up over 700 yards total offense in the game tonight Tom Carranzo's the quarterback, completing one straight ahead to tight end Gordy Wood as the clock runs under 20 seconds remaining. Thrifty Car Rentals player of the game. Who else? Barry Sanders, over 300 all-purpose yards tonight with a record five touchdowns. That's the offensive player of the game. And Sim Drain the third with a sack and a half, four tackles for the Cowboys of OSU. Pat Jones hoisted in the air. Kevin, they blew out Wyoming 62 to 14. He's a nice man, and congratulations to Pat Jones and the Oklahoma State program. They're headed for some rough times, but they'll pull out of it. A tremendous performance tonight. Wyoming, Paul Roach, great job. Keep those pokes coming.